Hey guys and welcome back to Call of the Wild. Very, very soon, Mississippi Acres Preserve is going to be out on all three platforms and that is coming on December the 7th. But not only is the new map coming out, but also we are getting a patch and that is going to come with all kinds of highly anticipated bug fixes, changes in the game, and improvements. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you that patch list and let you know exactly what is going to change on December the 7th when Mississippi Acres Preserves comes out. And guys, you do not have to purchase the new map to get the bug fixes and the patch. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Guys, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notify bell so you guys never miss another video. Let me know in the comments how excited you are to hunt on this map, which species you are most excited about, and if you are really looking forward to a bug fix, which one is it that you can't wait for it to be squashed, and there are a lot that are getting squashed. And guys, I want to thank you so much for all the likes and all the comments lately. You guys have been killing it, and it is so amazing for the channel. So thank you guys so much, and let's head right into it. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm about to tell you is a doozy and is very, very exciting, and it is something that I actually did not expect. We are getting, on December the 7th, True Racks for Lesser Kudu. Isn't that exciting? So if you would like a Legacy Diamond Kudu, you guys better head out. You have one week to hunt for that Legacy Diamond Kudu because after that, they are all going to be True Rack. And we better go out and find a new Diamond True Rack Lesser Kudu in Savannah. So that is very, very exciting news. And before we head into the bug fixes, I just wanted to say that I really think that EW has been doing a pretty amazing job lately. Not only are we getting a really, really amazing new map with six, actually, if you include wild hogs, we're getting seven new species. That's pretty crazy. But also we are scheduled on December the 7th to get this map to come out on all three platforms at the same time. And that has not happened in a very long time. And that is what the community has been asking for. And they are really, really trying to give it to us. So that is what is happening. And that is so great. I just wanted to give credit where credit is due. Okay, let's start with improvements. So it reads here, we made some significant FPS changes to boost performance. Massive overhauls to animal update threading. Improvements to population distribution on reserves, increased LOD granularity across species needing LOD improvements. So I believe that is the lag getting fixed, which we have been waiting for for a very long time. And that is so amazing. So it also says here, we've conducted some fur quality enhancements for all animals. And I have noticed on the new map that the black bears look amazing. They have definitely been improved as well as the white-tailed deer. So with this update, we've retouched visuals for water in lakes and rivers. There's been a visual overhaul for some of the input icons and buttons, and they look really cool, guys. I really like them. The feeding clue meshes for predators. It says no more blood splatters have been updated. Okay, cool. Moving on to bug fixes, critical and featured. Fix the issue of various weapon packs and Parquet Fernando DLC missing from Xbox players' libraries. So I have had a lot of players come forward and wonder what the heck happened to my Parquet Fernando map and where is my weapon pack too? If this happened to you guys after this update, you will have them right back in your inventory. You don't have to do anything. It will just be back there for you. So I do apologize that that disappeared, but that is getting fixed. And here is another super highly anticipated fix. Fix the broken fast travel issues across a number of reserves. So if you are unable to fast travel, that should be fixed with this next update. It also says, and this one I am super excited about myself, the dog collision with the player's character is fixed. Yay! I am really sick of my dog really, really shoving me around so that we won't have to contend with anymore. And that's amazing. Moving on to animals and environment. Radio towers across various reserves no longer defy gravity. So that tower in Quattro over the lake, it's not supposed to be there and it is going to be gone very, very soon. Animals will not become unharvestable if there are too many corpses unclaimed. So that's gonna be fixed. Fix the problem of EU rabbits not fleeing into their burrows as they should in Hirschfelden. Sounds will not persist anymore after walking through bushes. Standardized fur rarity tier waiting for all species. 
It sounds like they're gonna make the rears equally as difficult to get. I'm not sure 100% what this means, but I am looking forward to getting more information, but that's what it sounds like to me. And it reads, did a naming pass on all fur variations, all should have string names now. No more common variations for fur types. There's gonna be no more common fur types. So we definitely are gonna have some learning to do, but I think that is very, very cool. So look at this whitetail, guys. This is a dark brown whitetail. I have never seen this before, but we're no longer gonna have common variations. Let me know in the comments, how do you feel about that? Are you happy about that? Or is that not something you think should get changed? Let me know. Weapons, gear, and character. Fix the issue where turkey collars were not included in the Rancho Del Arroyo Reserve. And then we have user interface and multiplayer. Fixed a crash, which could occur when showing waypoints to another player. Fixed an issue where discovering a need zone caused the previously discovered need zone to appear on map UI. So I think that means that we're getting rid of stacked need zones. I think that's what it means and I really hope so. And I did notice on the new Mississippi map that there are no more stacked need zones, guys. Let me show you this. Look at this. So this need zone has two different species on it. And I have never seen that before ever in this game and I am so excited about it. What used to happen with need zones, guys, when you would first discover a zone, it would go onto the map and you would have your need zone. But then if you actually discovered a second species in the same area and discovered its need zone, it would attach itself to that previously discovered need zone and copy on top of it. So you couldn't actually see what was originally there, but both of those species still had a need zone there. So this way, we're gonna know exactly what need zones, what species are there. This is so much better. So we also have had the introduction of Great One Red Deers a couple weeks ago added to the game. So we have all kinds of new and exciting things coming to Call of the Wild. We are also expecting a complete rework on the waterfowl system in the early part of 2022. And that is something that we can definitely look forward to. If you guys are new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notify bell so you guys never miss another video. Let me know in the comments which of these bugs you are most excited is going to get fixed, and that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you did enjoy the video, guys, don't forget to leave a like. I appreciate it so much, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.